Ну, в общем, я так думаю, мы с ним поговорим только минут 10, потому что... Окей, okay, я сейчас пока иду одеваться, иначе я не успею. Ты с ним начинай, если я... Пока мне надо шавр принять и одеться. Пусть он тебе рассказывает. А вы включили запись? Да, напиши ему текст со своего, чтобы он мог тебе позвонить, потому что я его выключу. О, хай, Стивен. Хай, Стивен. There you go. We have it now. Great to hear. How's it going? Everything fine. How about you? Doing really well, thank you. Yeah, I'm not just sure what happened there. Anyway. Just I, will, I will turn on my camera. Yeah, I will need to just change my dress, but I can hear. You can go ahead. I just will be uh, step out for a few minutes, but I can hear. Perfect. So with this stuff here, um, Ali, as I, was, as I was talking to Natalia anyway, just about the process and buying, you know, working with the buyer to buy real estate, and then also as far as selling their property also, um, you know, first thing is we just need to know where financially they are. Do they have to sell their house in order to buy another one, right? Like that's the first thing you need to know. If they have to sell their condo to buy another one, well, then that's that's great. And we need to kind of advise them appropriately from there. Then what's going to go down is that um, if they have to sell, like if they don't have to sell theirs, it's an easy transaction. Go find them a house, sell them a condo. Then whenever they're, they, you know, whenever it's completed and they bought that new condo, well, then you can list their property and then kind of go from there, which that's the easiest way to do it. But... Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not everybody's in that position. And sometimes people do have to sell, you know, their home in order to buy another one. So if in the event that they are just buying and, you know, they don't have to sell anything, the first, first step that they have to do is they need to go to their lender, their bank or their mortgage broker, whoever's going to give them the money and get, get pre-approved to be able to, to, to go and buy a home. And what I always encourage everybody is to, to get pre-approved to the maximum that you can afford and then find a home within the price range that you want to spend. To me, that's something that's really, really important because you just need to know where you are financially. Uh, myself, you know, I own my home. I own my, my building where my office is. And, uh, you know, we've done well financially over the years and stuff. But even whenever I look at buying a home or upgrading my home or buying an investment property, whatever, I mm -hmm. still have that conversation with the bank, even though I'm pretty confident in the answer. I just, they're the decision maker. We want to make sure that they can do what they need to do and, and go from there. So if they have to, if they, they do not have to sell anything, what's going to go down is they're going to get pre-approved. Once they're pre-approved, then every buyer that I ever work with, um, you know, I ask 